hello guys big welcome to the manjo's electro hive channel uh, where we talk tech passion and service so today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can be able to import external libraries into your altium designer so recently i just faced a challenge where i downloaded files from uh snapeda uh, or any of these sites Snapeda, Mausa, Octopad, and Electronic Search Engine. So I ended up downloading uh, libraries from here, but instead they were integrated libraries, so I couldn't actually put them inside my already created library. So today I'm going to be showing you you're going to be able to do that or overcome that challenge. So let's get right into it. So first what you do is, after you... Um, downloading a file from one of these sites, let's say Snapeda or Mausa or Electronics uh, Component Search Engine. Uh, maybe for some of you guys who are new to this, let me show you how you can download a file so or a library. So I'm going to search for Arduino or let me just say that at Mega 328. So I'm going to type at Mega 328 Mausa. So there they can easily show me uh, which packages exist in Mouse? Because Mouse is like a website where you can be able to purchase these components from. So here under Mouse, I can also be able to download uh, models and data sheets for my uh, component that I want to use. So I'm going to click on this 3D models. So yeah, you can see that there are models here. There's a 3D, there's a footprint, and there's a schematic here. So I'm going to download these models. Oops. So it requires my password. Uh, yeah. But anyway, what you need to do is set up an account for that, and you'll be able to log in. So let me do that instead with a Snapeda. So let's say you, you've come here. Let me search for the at Mega 328P. So let's search. taking some time so yeah so you can see that here we have a chip that has a 3d model footprint and schematic uh, in snapeda so i'm just going to tap this link um, so yeah after accessing that we see that we can download the footprint or the footprint and symbol here then if you want a 3D model alone, you can tap on 3D model that is here. Just looks pretty cute, right? So you can download this as well. So since for this case, I'm just I'm showing you a demo. So you click on download, then come to Altium. And by the way, if you're not logged in, you may need to log in. As you can see, I'm already logged in. So here you see that I'm downloading an integrated library. So how do we so if I open this, uh, in its we see that this file is an integrated library, the file that you have just downloaded. So I'm going to go to Altium. Then under Altium, we're going to come to File, Open. Um, then you're going to come to. Okay, let me just get this here. So here's the file. So I'm going to open it. So yes, your extract. So yes, it's coming to Altium now. So once you've imported it, this is the integrated library that we just downloaded. So we can actually open. This is the schematic. So here, yeah, we can see the schematic component. Then we can as well see uh, here it already has its footprint attached with a 3D model. So you can open the footprint here. So yeah, so now when you have this, and remember, this right here, YouTube demo, uh, is my integrated library that I created myself. So how do we move these documents into this? So it's not just as easy as thinking you can just copy it, because we can't. We can't just copy it. So what we're going to do is, 
under this integrated library I'm going to create I'm going to add a schematic library yep then I'm also going to add in uh, add new to project I'm going to add a PCB library yeah so once we have created those libraries we're then going to uh, import the components that are in the Atmega integrated library into this uh, YouTube demo library. So let me first save this. If I actually move forward. So I'm not going to rename them, but for your case, for whichever project you're doing, you can rename the files. Okay. Okay, so after doing that, after creating the schematic uh, library and the PCB library, what we're going to do is we're going to open this, come to the Atmega library schematic. What you're going to do is just highlight it, highlight the whole component, Ctrl C to copy it, then go to your YouTube demo library, come to schematic library down here. So if you can't see this, then you have to come to panels then uh, select schematic library such that it will be able to appear here so you see that if I deselect this it doesn't so you see that it doesn't appear here so what you do is come to panels schematic library then you'll be able to see that so after doing that we can actually uh, you can add a new component then rename it whatever you want you can at mega so yeah, after naming it the Atmega, I'm going to open it. So it's already open here. Then I'm going to Control V. So you see that uh, the component that you had copied is now pasted here, right? So after doing that, you can save that. Then come back to the Atmega library, to the PCB doc. Uh, so the PCB library document, I mean. So you see that uh, it's also a library on its own, as you can see here but with only one component uh, yeah so what we're going to do here is one we we're not just going to copy and paste this wha though you could but what we're going to do is we're just going to come to edit so come to edit then copy component then uh, go to PCB library or library then go to PCB library uh, then if you can't see this as well, just come to panels, then select PCB library and you'll be able to see it this side. So after doing that, we can just come, after opening our library, come to edit, then paste component. So you see that it automatically adds in a new component with the exact name, plus everything else that we have gotten from the other side. So that's why uh, going to edit and copy is way better than just copying and pasting then coming to rename the whole thing and you may end up uh, facing some challenges uh, probably also as well so after doing that all you have to do is save so yeah I've just press ctrl s so after saving all you have to do is just close this so close the project so yeah so now you remain with um, your integrated library but still our components are not connected as you can see here there's no footprint attached so what we're going to do is come to add footprint browse then we're going to select this then ok press ok so you see that now our footprint is linked to our schematic is linked to the footprint so I'm going to save this so come up here save then after doing that after you've linked your uh, schematic to your footprint what you do next is compile your integrated library so i'm going to come here and compile yep so after compiling uh you can now be able to access it from this side so if you come to components then you come to this so you see that you can be able to see uh, YouTube demo with uh, two components the first one which uh, 
which was already defined in Altium, then the one that we just created here. So you can see that. So every time you make changes to your uh, design, so let's say let me uh, I move this pin quite a bit. Oops. So if I move this pin, let me say I moved it actually out here. Then uh, I come to components. Okay. Then I come to components. I've come to my schematic sheet because I want to import the component. Then I come to uh, YouTube demo. It's already open. So I double click on it to place it inside. So you see that the changes I made the other side are not included in the new schematic that I've just imported. So what you have to do is come here then save. So after I've saved it and you still come to components then import you see that the changes have still not been imported. So why is this so? That's cause we haven't compiled the we haven't compiled our integrated library. So after saving you always have to make sure that you compile. So if you click on compile and you come to components select come to YouTube demo so you see that the changes that you made can be accessed as you can see here so yeah that's it for this video guys hope to see you guys in the next one be stuff